Hello guys, welcome to Pretend Master Base of Nairobi. This is your friend again, Kim. I uh, just want to show you some results of what I did uh, eight days ago. And uh, if you can remember very well, I had said I, 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 I had done a video of uh, cow dung uh, mixed with uh, maize bran and uh, wheat, uh, wheat bran. Uh, because the one I had did earlier, it flopped. It didn't do well, but that, that was just a uh, cow dung alone. And uh, the cow dung was not that good, so I had to travel to a long distance somewhere and get a very uh, clean, uh, fresh cow dung. Because most of you guys are asking this question. I have a lot of cows, I have lots of these. Can I use it? So a friend, uh, a friend from India just uh, gave me this idea. I mix uh, the cow dung with uh, some wheat bran. To allow some air to be in and I did that so I did uh, I did one for uh, maize bran I mixed with maize bran and I mixed with wheat bran so this is eight days after so I think we need to just to see the results and see how they have done but I have looked at them and they are good so you can just get a closer look and uh, one thing with the larvae they always hide underneath. So we just need to dig in. You see? They have done very well. They have done very well. Very, very well. You see? The way they are big. So this one is the one with... Uh, the maize brand they have done very well get a closer look again they have done very well you can just have a closer look that's how they look uh, to me I can say the results are good very good you can see even some are almost uh, uh, to, uh, they are pre-pupas already. They are already pre-pupas in here. They have done very well. So that, this one is mixed with uh, maize bran. So on this we mix with wheat bran. Let's have a look at it also. Look at it. Very, very well. Look at them been growing very well pre pupils are still here they have done very well you see the way they are like they're so thick they are very fat here I think they've done very well look at this one they have done this is eight days and you can see the way they look, the size. These eight days, eight days. That is the size. They are very good. So, I've done my part. Guys, uh, I just, I'm happy, so happy because I know some of you who wants to be yourself. Remember, we always say be yourself is a game changer. It is what we need to, uh, to, to begin to do and uh, if you have not started, you better start. It is very good, it's a good, very good feed for your chicken, for your, for your dairy, for your pigs, for your catfish, uh, for tilapia. And the best thing with this is that for the pigs they eat uh, when, when they are alive. Uh, the same thing with the catfish, the same thing with the chicken. Only dairy and uh, tilapia, you need to dry them. But the rest you eat them that way very high in protein it is what is coming to change uh, uh the fish meal so that's my results i hope guys that uh, this will help you and again please let's subscribe let's share this video don't watch this video and just and you know very well you have a farmer you know that you can help call that farmer tell him about these uh share this video and it's gonna be well so that's our results from protein master we say thank you even for taking your time. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. Uh, the results are good. So 
as protein master we can say you can work with cow dung right now you can you just need to add some little bit of uh, maize bran and some little bit of uh, wheat bran if you have it uh somewhere cheap i don't know but in kenya it's a little bit uh, on the high but uh maybe other countries it's cheaper so please please again subscribe welcome to our channel share these videos again and again for any results for any question please just uh, uh, put your comments there. We will try and answer. So thank you again and God bless you. Please, let's go be yourself. This is organic. Let's move this way. Tell a farmer to tell a farmer about Protein Master, about be yourself. Thank you again and God bless you. Welcome guys to Protein Master Base of Nairobi. This is your friend Kim. We've been doing uh, some uh, tests of different diets, different waste that you can be able to use. I did this like two weeks ago. Uh, these were fish offals, just fresh uh, from the fish mongers. I got them and uh, I was using them. And uh, I did a video and they were so smelly, stinking smelly, so bad. Uh, today they're still there with us. You remember I had covered it that way. And uh, I, have, I had kept it outside a little bit because of air. But I believe. Uh, with the fish offals, I have a guy from uh, Dubai. The guy from Dubai was telling me he was doing uh, the fish offals in tonnage, and uh, it's possible. Why are we doing this? Because you guys who are in the lakeside, you guys who are able to get these fish offals, you can use them to do BSF. Remember, BSF is turning waste into a very good protein source. And that is all we need. These fish offers are thrown out in the in, in the dump sites. Don't allow to, to, to get that way. Get them, let them feed our BSF. And then the BSF, feed them back again to your fish and then to the chicken and to the rest. So it's a plus. So I did this, uh, though it was so smelly for me, but I was looking at it, you can be able to boil them just a little bit and it will kill that smell and you may be able to uh, use them so easily because the guy in Dubai who he was telling me he was doing like 80 tons of the fish offals almost every day and I, it used to work for him so for us also it's possible guys on the lakeside use this guys who have access to this use this again so please uh, join me as I just open it up and we see the results you can see the results They're okay. You can see the fish offers have been eaten up completely. If maybe you can get you can just get closer, you can be able to see them. Yes, that's how they are. So I can I can say they've done well also. They've done well. They eat up everything. Every part of fish is eaten up. You look at this, these bones here, they've been eaten up totally. I, I always say, uh, black soldier fly larvae, it's a ferocious eater. You can see they're still eating it. It's not totally done. So when, you, when, when you're having something like this, you can be able to mix them with something else. You can you, you, you may do fish offals with something else and it will still work well for you. So these are our results. We've been able to do that. It's been able to work very well. I just want to encourage you guys again. Let's do it. Let's go be yourself. Let, let's do it. It's something that's very nutritious for your chicken, for your pigs, for your fish, butter, goose, anything. You can do it. You can do it, please, guys. So from Prunen Master again, we want to say thank you so much. And we want to encourage you guys that you should not turn off this video. Before you share to a friend, please. Tell your farmer. We can be able to do it, guys. We can be able to do it. Tell the local government authorities about it. Let's go, let, let's go viral. Let's, let, let's do it in a massive way, in a big way. Because it's going to help our youth. It's going to help our old. It's going to help our farmers. It's a big, big value chain. So please, again, guys, from Project Master, we say thank you so much. Subscribe, share the video and uh, let's go be yourself let's go organic let's go way the way we were years back
We've taken it to too much GMO. GMO is not bad, but I believe organic is better than GMO. You believe that too, NAO. So once again, we say thank you, and the Lord God bless you as you continue to share these. Thank you so much.